let's come back and do the last topic of the chapter till now we have done preparations of colloids so we've also learned the properties of colloids now we'll see how to purify these colloids so basically colloids can be purified by four different methods so we will be learning <coughs> the first purification method that is dialysis then we'll be learning very simple they are electro dialysis right they can also be prepared by ultra filtration and by ultra centrifugation dialysis electrodialysis ultra filtration ultra centrifugation let's see the process and when i have to speak about dialysis okay let me make a line here let's write right basically the dialysis concept whenever we uh, use that uh, we have to concentrate main on two important things right okay let us speak three important things what are they first important for a dialysis process to occur i require a dialyzing membrane or an animal membrane or a parchment paper or a cellophane membrane let's write what what so for dialysis dialysis process i require and animal membrane or <coughs> cellophane membrane or parchment membrane yes <coughs> parchment paper we call that what is the use of this basically your animal membrane all these membranes they are specific in filtration what do they do they have because because of the pore size the whole size like that size of the pore this animal membrane will <coughs> send out okay what do they do they will filter or filter out impurities and they retain colloids okay this is your concept what is the other name given for impurities crystalloids okay let's come back and see so this is your concept so for dialysis process what are you going to do you're going to take a beaker done here you're going to take either any of these in the form of a bag now you're going to take suppose i'm assuming this as an animal membrane simply now you're going to place this in a beaker containing water Let us mark this. This is your water. Done. Whichever salt you are supposed to prepare, whichever, uh, sorry, whichever colloidal salt you are supposed to purify, you are going to introduce that colloidal salt in this. Colloidal salt, solid and liquid in this. Done. So, you have this colloidal salt here. Done. So, now what happens? <coughs> this is your animal membrane, isn't it? Now, I said they are specific to filter out. So, when there is continuous flow of water, all the impurities which are there in the colloidal salt they come out into the bottom so what are these these are these impurities whichever have come out are called crystalloids so what is the size of this they have true solution size particles of true solutions true solution size impurities okay crystallize and what is left out inside after dialysis you are left out with colloidal colloid okay this we have colloids here inside which are retained now they are continuously doing or performing the dialysis persistent dialysis this colloids they form aggregates and you get the pure form of that colloids done yes so i've written so many things let us come back and write the definition then i have to write the definition what is that okay dialysis is a process it's a process of separation of crystalloids so crystalloids are these impurities crystalloids so those are impurities you can also write or molecules or ions from there through the parchment membrane through the parchment 
paper or parchment membrane so what is this left out in the bag it is <coughs> parchment membrane uh, okay what is it first of separation of crystalloids and beauties are so the parchment membrane retaining colloids done so what actually is uh, this happening just a simple filtration process that's it nothing else so <coughs> important thing you have to remember i said you're going to write one point about this you're going to write about crystalloids and you're also going to write about retaining colloids right so you can also uh, put it in words if this uh, bag is made or parchment uh, like uh, uh, parchment membrane is uh, placed in a water bath continuous water bath so when there's continuous flow of water <coughs> all the particles or the crystalloids are uh, just they get collected in the water and left out is your colloid particles which on further dialysis or for the persistent dialysis you get the pure form of colloids so this is your dialysis please write the definition also this is very important this is going to carry marks right so i can easily prepare ferric hydroxide salts from this can you prepare from this method so let's come back and learn the next one electrodialysis Right. Now let us come back and learn the next purification method that is your electrodialysis and ultrafiltration. So in dialysis what do we learn? We, are, we have picked up an animal membrane or a parchment membrane or a cellophane paper for dialyzing or dialyzing membrane. Now here in electrodialysis everything is the same. Only difference is you are going to place the animal membrane or parchment membrane in an electrical field. Then let us start writing the definition. First important thing, what is electrodialysis? It is a process, same thing, like just like your dialysis. It is a process of separation of dissolved substance. So we, what did we say? Dissolved substance are nothing but the impurities, isn't it? Separation of dissolved substances. So dissolved substances are called as crystalloids. You can also call them as molecules or ions or impurities anything will do right say so impurities through what <coughs> separation of crystalloids using a uh, parchment membrane a parchment membrane under now you have to be careful here under the external circuit under the external circuit means you are placing two electrodes anode and cathode so that the charges whatever impurities are uh, separated from here they go to the uh, the opposite charges the, the opposite charged uh, impurities go to the respective electrodes so you can write process of separation of crystalloids that is molecules or ions using a parchment membrane under electrical field electrical field so you're going to underline this under electrical field okay this is yeah now nah. so what what is retained first important thing colloids are retained okay colloids will be retained in this bag isn't it colloids are retained in the parchment membrane in uh, parchment paper colloids are retained in the parchment paper then next important thing where are the crystalloids going uh, crystalloids of opposite charges okay crystalloids of opposite charges go to the respective electrodes done if opposite amion goes to your anode cation goes to your cathode crystallides of opposite charges go to respective electrodes respective electrodes that's that's it so simple logic how to write you know, if you have supposed to write the construction a cellophane bag or an animal membrane is taken to which a colloidal salt or a colloidal solution is introduced to this to which we are supposed to purify so this colloidal solution now you are connected to, uh, external to electrodes one would be your anode and one would be the cathode there's continuous supply of water through this inlet 
when this continuous supply of water i said animal membrane <coughs> will purify all the crystalloids all the crystalloids or the impurities are due to continuous flow because you know this is continuous current supply isn't it so all the crystalloids move out to the outer compartment and you will be left with the colloids only in this so two important things crystalloids are separated out crystalloids are separated out and your colloids are retained in which on further dialysis we get concentrated solution concentrated or aggregates of colloids so only difference between electrodialysis and dialysis is electrodialysis is very fast dialysis is a slow process isn't it yes Done. So, let us uh, remember, write this uh, de definition, uh, write what is retained inside, write what is, how are the crystalloids going and draw the diagram. Right. Now, let us come back and learn your next process of purification, which is ultrafiltration. So, in ultrafiltration paper, uh, filtration process, what, what should you remember? So, basically in dialysis and electrodialysis, we have used the dialyzing membrane. But here, you are going to speak in terms of ultrafilter paper. Done. So, let us write the definition. So, it is a process of purification of colloidal colloids from crystalloids I told you what are crystalloids isn't it the impurities crystalloids using ultra filter tape okay now for this ultra filter paper first i have to prepare the ultra filter paper from ordinary filter paper so what do i do how do i prepare first i said ultra filter paper underline that word done so now preparation of ultra filter paper so for preparing ultra filter paper i'm going to take ultra filter paper yes i'm going to take an ordinary filter paper because basically ordinary filter paper i can use but ordinary filter paper the process is too large enough so easily your colloids and crystalloids everything gets so we can't purify it in a uh, normal way so what do we do we have, we want an ultra thin pore size paper which we're going to prepare so first you're going to take ordinary filter paper ordinary filter paper to this ordinary filter paper you want to dip it in collodion solution okay this is a one mark question colloidion collodion just say c o l l o d i o n collodion what is this composition it consists of four percent nitrocellulose solution with a mixture of mixture of ethanol and ether mixture of ethanol and ether yeah, this is your this. now what do we do after me, uh, dipping the filter paper in the collodion solution we are then going to dip in formaldehyde solution so what is the use of this now already it has become compact the pore size is reduced further to harden that paper or because we, we want that pore size to be maintained i'm going to dip in formaldehyde solution so by this what will happen the paper gets hardened it gets hardened now this is over now once the paper is hardened what do we do we're going to take that paper just now this is a construction here we are going to place that ultra filter paper here this is your ultra filter paper ultra filter paper done so here what are you going to do <coughs> this is who all your colloid solution done now when i'm applying some to make the process faster we are going to apply gas pressure from the surface gas pressure is applied from the surface then what happens all the crystalloids whatever are there that means your water plus your uh, electrolyte that if i have to say water plus it means that is your impurity that is your crystalloids will come and occupy the lower compartment and the colloids or the colloid let us write sol sol plus water will be present in the upper compartment so you have purified isn't it so the because of the pore size the well impurities occupied in the lower compartment and the salt particles because of their uh, size is more than 1000 nanometers they occupy the upper compartment so uh, impurities are like of the true solution size particles so done so are we not separated so this is the ultra filtration so whenever you're writing write the definition 
show the preparation of ultra filter paper then come back to the construction and draw the diagram and just show colloidal salt particles are retained here crystalloids are retained here to make the process faster gas pressure is also applied yes so this is your uh, uh, purification technique let us come back and finish off ultra centrifugation process Right. Now let us come back and do the last purification technique that is ultra centrifugation. So you would have seen in the lab when you go for your blood test, isn't it? When they try to calculate the ESR levels, what do you? You have a centrifuge, uh, you know, a container box type where you have all the test tubes placed under motor. So that particular thing, once it is connected to the external circuit, it has continuously rotates and finally, because of the density, you will find the separation of layers. Okay. So now how are we going to separate the colloids? When I have to write the definition of centrifugation you have just simple right it is a process of purification of colloids from impurities so what are the impurities what name did we get crystalloids we said from crystalloids using centrifuge or ultra centrifugation process or centrifuge this is an equipment okay ultra if you want to write ultra centrifugation process or centrifugation apparatus or okay centrifugation apparatus okay equipment centrifugation equipment or apparatus it's called ultra centrifugation so basically as i said you have a box like this and in the center you are going to place all the test tubes so one test tube here one more test tube here one more test tube here like this you are going to place all the test tubes with the solutions whichever you are supposed to purify so now when this is connected as i said this continuously this <coughs> oh yeah done okay continuously that keeps rotating now most important thing is <coughs> this particular uh, circuit on what basis is it separated so the concept is the uh, colloids and the crystals so the whatever substances you want to separate they're separated based on the densities separated based on densities so this is the concept right whichever is heavier will settle at the down base you know, understood under gravity they're going to settle now what happens once this you're going to take this colloidal particle like this along with the solution colloidal solution continuously moves and you are finally after rotations you get two different layers now the bottom layer you will have all colloids collected because of the gravity i said higher density whichever is higher density is collected the base and the one which is lighter you have a solution here and this solution is the crystalloid solution crystalloid will remain in solution in solution now see you are able to separate colloids isn't it purified colloids now this crystalloids what are we going to do like uh, uh, they form the separate uh, upper layer isn't it this is called centrifugate the upper layer is called centrifugate done right now the colloids what are going to do they are going to separate it like they take out the solution they are going to collect this colloids and they are going to mix this colloid with a specific every colloid is a different dispersion medium isn't it we have already studied in tableau column based on the disper uh, dispersed space in the dispersion medium so this colloid is mixed with suitable dispersion medium dispersion medium when it is mixed with suitable dispersion medium finally you get a pure colloidal salt so from this you get pure colloidal so that's it so and my diagram is not so neat enough i've just given you a big idea so simple write the definition here right explain the process of centrifugation just one or two lines then finish off your answer showing which is the crystalloid layer which is a colloid layer and finally how do you get the pure solid basically they ask you for one mark only and you can write your answer in this way